Yo, yo, it's Pharrell. I'm going undercover on the internet with GQ. It's actually me, for real. Reddit. Faceman Spiff944 says, what discipline of art would Pharrell compete if it got reintroduced to the Olympics? I don't know that I would compete because I never really felt like I was good enough for anything. If I had to compete with any of them, it would be music, although I'd probably get smoked by so many people. The Olympics is about like the best of the best for the next four years, the planet's best. Planet's best should also include the mind. The mind is a muscle as well. Post it. Then there's me ordering uh, McDonald's in Paris. You guys can watch that on your own time. Yes, it's true that I got fired from three McDonald's. The narrative that Shay, you know, that I was like stealing nuggets, I wasn't stealing nuggets. Was I eating on the job? Sure. Is that a form of stealing? Sure. Or was it dealing nuggets? Okay. I would like make my own sandwiches the way that I wanted to. I would make them piece by piece. Literally, I'm not even saying that. I had like the the most bangingest like version of a burger. Should I share it right now, Amanda, or should I wait? So you take the bun from the fish filet, you toast it first, but then you put it back in the steamer. So it's toasted already, but then when you put it in the fish filet steamer, then you steam it. Now it's like the softest thing in the world. Obviously the quarter pounder, you do it well done. Crispy lettuce, mayo, you take the sweet and sour sauce, Put it together, slice it in half. It's the best. Next. Today I learned that Pharrell Williams requires a framed picture of Carl Sagan in his dressing room. It's false. It's just what my team likes to do. They think it's funny. Next. I thought he was religious. Why would he dig Sagan? Carl spoke religiously about the universe. To me, the universe is God. In a lot of ways, spirituality speaks very clear to the essence of science. Start talking about the first cause, the way the universe came to be. What was there first? The three monotheistic religions tend to agree with the origin of the Big Bang. There was light. And there's just so much that we don't understand. We talk about like dimensions, right? Like what's the fourth dimension and what's the fifth dimension? And do they not exist because we can't perceive them? And I'm willing to bet there's more to what we don't know and understand. Next. Why does Pharrell like Despicable Me franchise so much? Duh, they pay me, bitch. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, because Chris Melodondry walked me into the animation world and it's just changed my life, especially being a kid that loved cartoons so much. So that's why I have to thank this woman named Kathy Nelson, who is the one who introduced me to Chris. But I also scored that first one as well with Etor Pereira. And we have a new one that you will remember in this interview in a couple years, you'll be like, yo, that was the first time you talked about it, but it's insane. When I tell you insane, insane. And that's because me and him connected through animation like this. Post it. Let's check X. Went to the cinema and saw a trailer for Pharrell's biopic. In Lego? Sure, why not? Which will apparently feature new music from him. So my question is, will we finally be getting that mythical RM Fro collab that was teased forever ago? You have to ask RM. What I was gonna put it out on, I changed gears and ended up doing something completely different. So all the music that I have from all the different collaborations for that project are there. The songs were great, but the project itself, I felt like wasn't right. Next. Hobiecore. Okay, is Hobiecore coming? The anticipation continues. And I think this is a real spoiler. I'll tell you, okay? I said prepare. You know, you look at your little comments and shit and people were like, what was gonna happen? What happened? Prepare for what? You see it now, bitch. Next. The conspiracy theory that Pharrell Williams is a vampire really freaks me out. Cool, keep some garlic on you. All right, let's see some YouTube comments. Actually, when it comes to the comments, you gotta come up for air sometimes, you know? Or you could really go down like a rabbit hole of like hysteria and wake up one day just eating couch filler. I was just researching if they ever did do a collab and they haven't. Dude, I need to feast on whatever they cook. Yeah, this was like five or six years ago. This was before the pandemic, I think. 
In the NERD days, I wanted him to produce one of the records or what he calls himself as the great producer. I wanted him to do that, but it was like a timing thing and we weren't able to do it. I would love to go back and find records that they may have, that Rick may have made with like Run DMC or like the Beastie Boys that they never released but like make new tracks out of that. I've never worked with him before, but that's what I would love to do if I could. Next, I would love to know who is the target market for LV Men's. Maybe one or two things I can see myself owning that other stuff is a firm no. The target audience is for people who are curious and want to go on a journey and who appreciate the luxury and the details. Look, at the heart of anything that I do, is curiosity. It should make some people uncomfortable at times because then it means it's new. Post it. Instagram. What was the pressure like to fill the shoes at LV for Virgil? You can't fill the shoes of a legend. I have my own shoes. There's a very famous photo of myself, him, Virgil, and Kanye, and they're both wearing the sunglasses that I did for LV 20 years ago. I could never fill his shoes, he has his own. I'm just honored to be a part of the history, period. Okay, Wikipedia. Other names, Skateboard P, Skateboard, Auto Goon, Burb Lord, Station Wagon P. Here's one people don't know about. Yellow Lightning. Now on to Cora. Hey, is it me or like, is it full on demolition in the neighborhood? Plus, helicopter above right now. I feel like we on fucking Call of Duty. How were Fro Williams, BBC, and Ice Cream brands started? This guy, Steve Stout, gave me this awesome opportunity to make a sneaker with Reebok. Right around that time, I was meeting with Nigo, and I knew that I wanted to do something with, you know, BBC, this crazy idea that I had in ice cream, and Nigo really just helped me organize the idea. I knew what I wanted for my logo. I worked with his artist to create it. It was just really me, me and Nigo. And Nigo's the go. You already know. Post it. Okay, TikTok. If he could give creative advice to a younger version of himself, back when he was just getting started, I wonder what he'd say. I wouldn't give myself any advice because I wouldn't be where I am right now. Life literally is like a domino effect. Every time you change anything, it completely takes you on a different course. The creative advice that I would give, write down all your fears, your flaws, your insecurities, the guilt, the pressures. Look at them on a list. Know they're all distractions. Once you do that, you will experience your life uninterrupted. That is the most important thing that you can do for your creativity is to eliminate all the distractions, period. Post it. That's it. I'm signing off the internet. This was fun. And that's it.